professional model who's been badly bullied is speaking out about her experiences as part of Anti-Bullying Week. Charlie has autism and is raising awareness in her role as a youth ambassador for the charity. Pam Caulfield reports. Strutting her stuff in Miami. At 15, Charlie's modelling career takes her around the world. Catwalks and cover shoots are where she's most comfortable. A way to escape a tough school life. I have Asperger's syndrome and I therefore had got a bit bullied in mainstream school. I've then moved to a special needs school. The bullying has actually been the worst. So I've had my arm broken in the past year and the gossiping and the, the, the rumours that have been spread, I think that's the most hurtful thing. I couldn't really cope with that anymore. It was difficult, but she spoke out and got help. I don't think anybody can do anything like that alone. My mum really stood up for me and helped me go, put, go through it. It has been awful as a parent to watch and you feel so helpless. And I'm, I'm lucky because she's really close, so she's told me all about it. But it's so difficult to know how to help. To build her confidence, she took up hobbies, photography and art. But it was modelling that really got her out of her shell. Before you get on the runway, it, there's pressure there. And it's like when you step out, it's, you relax. It's like you're the only person there. You're in the spotlight. You have your own moment. The confidence. It, it's like all the things that she struggles with in life. Socially, she, she becomes this different person. She's now a charity youth ambassador. Not just helping others like herself, but they're bullies too. Sometimes bullies can just be bullies, but they're still people and they still need help sorting why they are bullying people. Charlie's next project is to combine her charity work and her modelling and launch a clothes line raising awareness of autism. Pam Corfield, Beauty Points West, Bristol. Charlie, you are an inspiration. Go girl. Now we move on to other news and Swindon Town is searching for their sixth manager in five years following the departure of Phil Brown. The club announced the news last night despite the 59-year-old signing a two-year contract in the summer. Swindon have only won five league games this season and are just seven places above the bottom of 